Ohio woman named Rai, she posted a startling discovery that she had in her former roommate's room. After he had moved out, she was discovering the general holes in the walls. You know, you put up some pictures, some nails, some nails in the walls for your pictures, maybe even a TV stand. Well, one of these holes was much larger than others. And as she inspected it, she discovered it led somewhere. Let's watch. Move, move. This is Jacob's room. He just moved all of his stuff out. I'm having a panic attack. That is our shower. That's our shower. That's our shower curtain. Ryan, go go in there. I literally feel like I'm going to have a panic attack. Are you in the shower? Oh my God, I can see it. So there we have the disturbing discovery that Rai did point out there. And some people after she posted this had received a lot of attention, had some questions and a couple of suggestions and assumptions made. So let's look at some of their responses because she did respond to them. We'll get to that in a second. But one person said, by the looks of the drywall, and this point, this stuck out to me after they said this because I didn't realize that. By the looks of the drywall and the way it's puckering outward in the bedroom means that he drilled it from the bathroom side. So as you can see, it kind of jumped out that way. You can tell which direction the drill was going. And that's what user Leah Hankins, she wrote that. Also another wrote, it's important to at least document this with the police report, which I agree. Um, uh, he will continue this behavior. And also it's definitely the size of a hidden camera is what this other user Vanessa wrote, get the police involved. Now that camera thing, because people did wonder, how can someone actually see much? Yeah, it's a little hole and you can see a bit of little to nothing. Maybe a hidden camera was in there. So that possibility was discussed here also from the Daily Dot. Although most surveillance cameras are bigger than the hole that was shown, an advanced pinhole camera gives the user the ability to place a small camera at the end of a cord into a hole. And it can be as small as the point of a pin. And that's according to Wise Geek. So after all those things were pointed out to Rise, she did post an update to talk about what she's done since. Let's watch. This video is kind of blowing up. I know it can kind of seem like, how would you not notice a hole in the shower? Um, but there's a like big indent into the shower, basically, where like a shelf is, and you can put bottles of shampoo in there. And the hole was drilled up in the very corner of that. It was definitely seemed to be strategically placed to a point where when there was something behind it, I could not see that at all. And I'll show a video in a couple of days when I go back there. Um, but I have not been back there um, because the last time I was there, he actually tried to get in my face while I'm pregnant. Um, this is not the first really creepy thing that he's done. Um, there was um, his TV there, but it was on like one of those swivels that like comes out. And you can see where the outline of like the TV stand or whatever was. And it looks a lot different than those other holes. I don't know why he wouldn't cover that up. My boyfriend did confront him about it and he said that it was just a missed stud or whatever. But again, don't know why he wouldn't cover that up. As soon as he left and did take that out, um, I was actually laying in my bedroom and I could see the light coming through like into my room through the bathroom. So there was definitely something in front of it, like blocking it. There seems to be a lot of premeditation with this idea that her former roommate had. And plot twist also, Adrian. Um, apparently, the roommate that moved out was a friend of her boyfriend's, if I read that correctly as it went through. So um, he apparently confronted his friend, which should be his former friend, um, and discovered this. Yeah, so uh, foremost in terms of that whole confrontation angle, I actually wouldn't have been surprised if the gentleman had said that uh, he didn't know it was there and it has nothing to do with him and it had been there previously. Uh, but I guess his somewhat acknowledgement of saying it's a misstud, I really don't necessarily know uh, how far that conversation is going to go. But you know, it's very invasive and it is incredibly disgusting. I'm really glad that that person is out of the home, especially if she is pregnant. Yeah, and as she pointed out, she's pregnant and is going through all this stuff, and he's been aggressive before and gets confrontational. Yeah. So she's afraid to go back. She's doesn't go back that much. I'm not sure if she's moved out, um, but I feel like this is like a, a, a I don't know, man. If the more I always assume these types of things happen to certain folks, main, primarily women, but then when you have to have a roommate and live with a guy for however long she did, 
then you have to assess every moment you had in that house. Yeah. And rethink it and then carry it to the next situation and the next situation. We talked before, I think last week, there was a filthy state, a state representative or senator, I believe it was in Oklahoma or Nebraska. And he was busted for taking pictures of staff members and then just left like, I'm through with this. No, no, we're not through with this yet. <laughs> you know, yeah. someone else is living with this the rest of their life thinking about what it is that happened to them and how to prevent it. And you just walk away and go, I can't believe you guys are being all uptight. I don't know how to change this thought process. Yeah, and it also makes you realize how often this happens because um, I've had a number of instances where when I respond to something in a proactive manner, um, people think, oh, you, she must be crazy. No, it's because I know how common these things are. So if I move into uh, an apartment unit, I, I do set up cameras places because I don't know necessarily who has keys and who is going to access it and who is going to have uh, leaving behind their own cameras or why I check vents and all of these things because it is truly invasive and people are sick and twisted. And it really does suck as a woman to have to have um, this mindset and have to do all these things, but at the same time, if that's the only way I'm going to sleep easy and feel comfortable, so be it. Um, it sucks, I've never had to do that. I've considered them in an Airbnb or something like, oh, I wonder because I've heard yeah. those stories. Then I'll lay back down and go to sleep and don't think about it, because that's my privilege. So anybody who's upset that women have to do this or think that they're uh, uh, making men look bad, understand that some men are making you look bad um, and understand where other folks are coming from. And just deal with that because that's part of having this privilege. And maybe stop.